Old Testament, right? Yeah. This is in the book of Isaiah, right? Okay, God yeah. is speaking. Okay. And God is saying, listen to me, Jacob, Israel, who I am called. I am he. I am the first and the last. In the Old Testament, God is speaking. Yeah. In the Surah 57, yeah. Allah says he is the first and the last. Okay. And in Revelation 22, verse 18, Jesus says, I am the first and the last. Okay. The open, I, open Isaiah, read it for me, please. Yeah, there is. In Isaiah, it says, listen to me. Can you just hold this for a second? Okay, open it. It says, listen to me, Jacob, Israel, whom I have, whom I have called. I am the first and I am the last. Do you mind if we go there? It's a bit loud, aren't you? Yeah, in Isaiah, it says, 48 verse 2. Listen to me, Jacob, whom I have called. I am he. I am the first and I am the last. This is God saying in the Old Testament. And in the New Testament, Jesus Christ says in Revelation 22 verse 13. Yeah. He says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. And in, in the Quran, in Surah 57, Allah says, I am the first and the last as well. Okay. So we can see this is a divine attribute. Um, okay. This, is, this okay. is a divine attribute called um, class okay. to Jesus Christ. Revelations, what is the verse? 22 verse 13. Revelations. 22 verse 13. Eh? One minute, sorry if I just called my friend. With the camera, there's two cameras here, there's no one on my side. Okay, can you open Hebrews chapter 7 verse 3 please? But can I just call my friend with the camera because there's two here. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. uh, He claims in Revelation, Jesus says, I'm the Alpha and Omega. Oh, the Alpha and Omega thing. Yeah, so it's cool. I said Hebrews chapter 7 verse 3, we're going to actually say that. We're going to add him to the God list. No, there's a better one. Uh, Melchizedek. Yeah, yeah, Hebrews 7 verse 3. Yeah, 7 3. Yeah. Yeah, so they're claiming that he's better. In fact, he's better. Because yeah, he's got no mother and no father. No yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're gonna find There's out. no mother and father. What are you saying, brother? Yeah, no problem. Okay, you got your cameraman? No, I don't know he's about. Okay, alright, no problem. Alright. So your claim is that because he says he's Alpha and Omega, yes. that makes him divine. That makes him divine, yes. Okay, no problem. Are you are you how long have you been a Christian? Just a couple of years now, not, not couple years. What was he before? Muslim. He was a Muslim before? Yeah, yeah. Okay, alright. Uh, can you recite Surah Kawsar for me? Surah Kawsar. Kawsar. Yeah. Okay, good. So let me just get this right. You left Islam for Christianity? Yes. Okay, alright. So let's just get this right. Okay, let's go. Okay. So Alpha and Omega makes him good. When he says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last. Perfect. Alright, good. This is a okay. in the Old Testament. That's fine. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 3, please. So when you say you was a Muslim, was you a, a, a Sunni Muslim or an Ahmadi? Sunni, Sunni. You're Sunni Muslim, yeah? Yes, yeah, so a lot of people can't take it. I, I, yeah. I left Islam. You have to be out of your mind. I'm, I'm a Why is that? I'm a Muslim for 11 years. You have to be out of your mind to go from oneness of God yeah. to believe that God is a man. You have to be out of your mind. No, we, Let me no. tell you something. Let me tell you something. And I know that you have zero grounds, but I just want to find out what's the reason. Okay. So let's, we're going to go with your argument. Okay. So Alpha and Omega, no problem. Now go okay. to Hebrews chapter 7 verse 3. In Hebrews chapter 7 verse 3, it says, He is without father or mother. Wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's, let's go, go, go two verses before. It says, For this Melchizedek, King of Salem, King of Peace, that means King of Peace, right? Priest of the Most High God met Abraham, returned from the slaughter of kingdoms and blessed him. Mm. And most, now your argument is going to be, Moshe on, Zedek on, is not on, Jesus. Moshe Zedek was Jesus carry Christ. On, carry on, carry on, he carry is on. Jesus though. Carry on, carry on, carry on. Carry okay, on. and to him Abraham apportioned a tenth part of everything. He is first by translation of his name, King of Righteousness. And then he's also King of Salem, that's King of Peace, which is Jesus Christ. Carry In the on, Old carry Testament, Moshe Zedek was known on, as Jesus on. Christ. I don't need you to see it, carry on. Carry he's on. without father or mother or genealogy. One second, one second, one second, one second. King of peace. Yes. He has no mother. Yes. He has no father. Okay. Does Jesus have a mother? So when Moses did Jesus have a mother? When Moses did Jesus have a mother? When Moses did Jesus have a mother? Old Testament the ruler of Jesus Christ. Did Jesus have a mother? Jesus at that time did not have a mother. But in the New Testament, in his human nature, yes. When in the Old Testament, no. Was it? Did Jesus have a mother? In his human nature, yes. Okay, good. So Moses, does he have a father? Okay. Does he have a father? No. Does he have a mother? But Jesus in his divine nature does, does he not have a, have a biological father. Does he have a mother? mother? Does Malchus no. have a mother? Good. No. Does he have a father? And Jesus doesn't have a biological mother or we'll biological father we'll in his divine nature. Does he have a mother? In his divine nature, does he, have he does mother? not have it. Does he have in a mother? In his divine nature, he does not does have Malchus it. Does have a mother? In his divine nature, that's does Jesus Christ. Does Malchus have a mother? That is Jesus. If you look at the Old Testament, Jesus revealed himself many times. Does Malchus have a mother? Such as the angel of the Lord. He ruled himself in the bush. And he ruled himself as Moses Zedek. Slowly but surely, we're going to get there. I told you, Moses Zedek is Jesus Christ. We're listening. We're going to get it out of you. We're going to get out of you. Okay. Melchizedek, does he have a mother? 
Moshe Zedek is Jesus Christ, so he does not have a mother. Does have a mother? So when Moshe Zedek was, let me explain to you. So when Moshe Zedek was revealed to Abraham, I'm asking a simple question. When Moshe Zedek was revealed to Abraham in the Old Testament, that was Jesus Christ. I'm fasting. And at that time, he didn't have a mother. I'm fasting. But in the New Testament, yes, he was born for a mother. Yes. Does he have a mother? Moshe Simple Zedek. question. I told you, I said to you, no. Good. Does he have a father? No. Thank you. Now, does he have a beginning? Moshe Zedek, he's eternal. Does he have a beginning? That's Jesus Christ. I told does you. Does he have a beginning? Moshe Zedek is Jesus um, Christ. Does he have a beginning? He is Jesus Christ. I have told does you. Does he have a beginning? John no. What does John 1 say? Does he have a beginning? What does John 1 say? I, I said it to you. Moshe Zedek is Jesus Christ. Does he have a beginning? Man, am I speaking Moshe a different Zedek language? Jesus Christ. Does he have a beginning? Who? Melchizedek. I said you know he's eternal. Okay, good. Same as Does, Jesus he Christ. Does he have an end? Does he have an end? No, they are eternal. Okay, good. Now, now, A, B, C, see yourself out of it. We're talking. <laughs> That's right. Anyways, now, look, he has no mother. He has no father. No, no, you're playing he games. has no beginning. I have told yes, you. Right. Now, now. In the Man, Old Testament, finish. Jesus came my to friend, many prophets. My friend, let me finish. Let me speak. Such as the angel of the Lord. Such my as the bush. My friend. And when Moses said it was come to let Abraham, that was Jesus Christ. Let, let me finish. That was Jesus Christ. Let me finish. Now, now, his argument was the following. Jesus said, I'm Alpha and Omega, so he's God. I said, okay, no, but let's go with it. We go to Hebrews chapter 7 verse 3, Melchizedek. That's Does Jesus. Have... That is Jesus. I've told you so many times. That is Jesus. Kaif, kaif, kaif. So, I said very clearly, Melchizedek, this is, this is where they get in trouble. He has no mother, he has no father. He has no beginning, he has no end. Okay. Is Melchizedek God? Let me explain to you. Is Melchizedek God? To you. So in his is Old Testament, God? at that time, is Jesus, Jesus God? in his divine nature, is did not have a mother God? or father. Is in the New God? Testament, yes, he did have a is mother Melchizedek in God? his human nature. Okay, Melchizedek, is he God? Is Jesus Christ. Jesus look, look. revealed himself as look. Melchizedek, is Melchizedek in the Old Testament. God? In the Old Testament, is that was Jesus Christ. God? He was Jesus Christ, yes. Okay, good. Now, Jesus is God, yes. the Holy Spirit is God, the Father is God, now we have Melchizedek. You, no, 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 listen, you're playing semantics. One you second. believe Allah's God, Muhammad is God, and the plan is for, for white. Now, can you, let me explain. Now, no, no, no. You, you, don't you're touch not, me. You're not, you're not. Don't touch me. You're just putting words in my mouth. Jesus, Holy Spirit, you're words in my mouth. and Melchizedek. You're putting words in my mouth. Now, 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 you're putting one minute. Now. One minute. Question now. One minute. According, 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 according to your belief, God you believe Muhammad is God. Did you pray now. to him? Yeah. Now. Why now. do you pray to Muhammad? Now. Now. Alhamdulillah. You do. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So Jesus is saying to forgive your enemies, to love your enemies, to pray for your enemies, and you're telling them to kill them. Look at Jesus compared to Muhammad. So now, Jesus taught to forgive. You worship a man. Jesus taught to love. Now, and you're telling your Muhammad to kill an apostate. Nobody buys this anymore. Is that what you're saying? You're killing an apostate. Jesus said love. In Luke 19, verse 27, he teaches love. Now get out of here, man. Man, get out of here. These arguments are good. They're 10 years ago. It doesn't work. In Surah 3, the Quran. Do you know why people are coming to Islam? Jesus are oh, superior to everybody else. You must follow us. You must follow us. We're going to do intolerant. You must follow us. And this is why, you know what's the disciples of Christ are superior to anybody else. Arguments Surah 3, and people are coming to Islam. So you must be following us, Ali. So now, you have to follow you us. You believe God is a man. In Surah 3, you believe? 55. That's why is Jesus God? Is Jesus God? Yes. Okay. Is God, yeah? Did Jesus go to the toilet? In his human nature, yes, because he had to represent us, so he had to do everything we to do. Yes, check this out. Check this out. Check this out. this out. God, God had to come and represent us by going to the toilet. Can I tell you why? Can I tell you why? Because. Let me tell you. Why. So God went to the toilet to represent us. Because us human beings cannot live a perfect example or prophets or sinners. So, so God, God has to come down because he was So perfect. God has to come down. And he was the only one that So God had to come down. I would have been like, go he toilet. Was the only one that so he had to go toilet. He was made like us, yes. Let me tell you something. Why you? Do you know what's interesting? Look, look. He was made like us, yes. They're so hurt. They can't let me talk. No prophets can live a perfect example of mankind. So God has to come down to represent mankind. In our religion, in our religion, in our religion, God didn't come down. The prophet, peace be upon him, was an example we follow. You guys follow a God. Why do you follow a sinner? Why do you follow a sinner? So you, you follow, follow a God I that went to the toilet. I follow Jesus Christ, he was sinless. So God went to you the toilet. You follow Muhammad, who so God went to the toilet. Allah every single so night. So God went to the toilet. In his human nature, he had two natures. How do you, nature listen, and listen. Yes. You need to it's squat. Philippines verse 2 listen, verse 6. you need to squat to go to the toilet, yeah? No, no, you no that's, not do that. that's not a tradition, mate. I didn't do that. I didn't squat. So one second. How, how do you go to the toilet? One second. How do you defecate? What's the, 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 what's so you would rather follow a sinner One than a sinless person? I would rather follow a sinner. Let me tell you something. You would follow a person I do not follow, I don't follow a God that went to the toilet. It, he had two natures. You didn't realize that? He had two natures. So a divine nature, nature and a human nature. The first nature is going and to the toilet. when he came down, he humbled himself to represent us. So he had to do the things that we did. Bro, you know what? Let me, let me, okay, let me explain to you. Let me explain to you. Let me hear Christianity. Is he going to let me explain? Is he going to let me explain? The reason why God... You're an ignoramus, bro. Okay, so, okay, let me explain to you. Let me explain to you, brother. And he thinks we worship the black Kaaba. You know, Muhammad said, you know, I was a Muslim. Or use a bad language or your fast is invalid. We worship the Kaaba, yeah? You worship Muhammad? Kaaba. When you say, Ataya Atu Lillahi, Wasluwa Kaaba. Kaaba. Aslam Alayka. Blackstone, yeah? Ayyna Bayu, Rahmatullahi Barakatuh. Aslam Alayna wa Allah, Ibadullah. I bet your family, your family is watching this. You know what, bro? This guy. The reason why Jesus Christ went to the toilet because he was, he humbled himself, right? There's a divine nature. So God, so God, God became. He humbled himself to represent us. So God humbled himself to go to the toilet. He had to do the things we did. He had to do the things we did. Even he's embarrassed. How He's wearing Paris? a mask to show, show his facial recognition. He has to do the things we wait, did. What, wait, let me just look at this. Bro, what is your point? Ignorant. What's your point? The one who created God heavens on the earth cannot being, go to it. Do you believe your God blew Mary's vagina? Do you believe in your God blew Mary's vagina? What's the logical That's, inconsistency? What's the logical inconsistency with God, Jesus becoming God? The one who created the heavens on the earth, God Almighty is a necessary being. He has no beginning, he has no end. He's self-sufficient. Yes. He in does his not. Nature. Okay. He's limited in God. He's limited in God. He's limited in God. In his nature. Why are you One second. One second. For what reason? Second. Are you dependent or dependent when you're having a poo? What? <laughs> are you dependent or independent when you're defecating? Let me explain to you what it means, bro. Can I explain to you? Okay, okay, hold on. Hold on. Let me speak. Are you dependent in, look, or independent human, when you're in the toilet? Yeah, let me answer you. Yes. Dependency and independency mm -hmm. is subscribed to a nature. Because of your nature, yeah. you're dependent. Because of God's nature, He's yeah. independent. Okay, good. Yeah. God. So when you are in the toilet, nature, are you dependent or independent? Dependent. dependent? Good. Yeah. When you are so in the toilet, human nature, was dependent. When you are in the toilet, human nature, are you yes. dependent or independent? Jesus was dependent on His human nature because when you, he is listen to me as a listen human me. nature. When you are in the Jesus toilet, was in, was you know when you're in the toilet, defecating. That's why are you Jesus dependent was dependent. He was dependent because He was in His human nature. So in the toilet, He was dependent on cleaning Himself. Jesus was dependent in His human nature. That's why He's dependent. So that's the Allah has to come. Allah has to come down to His creation to answer prayers. Why is that? Allah has to come down to His creation to answer prayers. Why is that? One minute. Allah has to come down to His creation to answer prayers. Why is that? Why does Allah have to come down to His creation to answer prayers, Ali? Why is it? Can you explain any logical inconsistency at all? Enemies are making a fool of Can you explain any metaphysical? Can you explain any metaphysical inconsistency though? Are you smart enough? Are you good enough? 
You know, Allah has to come down to his creation every night time to answer prayers. So he is dependent on his creatures. Can you explain why God can't become human? Can you explain that? He's limiting God in his nature, what he can do, what he can't do. He's limiting God. You are asking big questions. Can you explain that? He's limiting God. He's been dismantled today. You are asking big questions. He don't you know, know he's limited in God because Allah has to come down to his creation every night time. Yeah, so why can't God come down? Jahil, why can't God can come down, Ali? Man. Well, can I ask you a question? Why don't you believe Jesus was God? Why don't you believe in Jesus' resurrection and crucifixion? When there's many disciples who witnessed it, many church fathers, historians who attested to it, then you're a man who comes 600 years later, you never saw the event, you had hallucination from black magic, which is written in your sources. So how can you trust all these other revelations? How can you do it, Ali? Now you're conceding, you don't want to talk. No, no, I'm, just, he's follow, speechless I'm now. just following that when he's the enemy is making a fool of himself, just let him talk. Okay, you are so it is written. A smart question from a it is written, right? I'll get it up right now. And if he doesn't want to answer this, he has conceded. Alhamdulillah. God goes to the toilet, yeah? He has conceded. <laughs> That's what I need to know, bro. He has Thank conceded, you. my friend. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Even Many people have gone to Christianity. Your I don't love him. I don't love him. Even your Allah was in the toilet. He was never a Muslim. Bro. Why is that? He was never a Muslim. How do you know? Where's the Jahil? Yeah, okay. Yeah, can I put the white? Yeah, can I study? It's the most powerful mustaki. The most powerful. 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 So the Christian goes, they were oriented this, that the uh, members of the Bible. So what's it? What's it? What's it? What's it? You're a jahil. You're an absolute lost. You're an absolute jahil. You're an absolute jahil. He himself said. He's an absolute jahil. He's an absolute jahil. He's an absolute jahil. He's an absolute jahil. Muhammad himself said, Ma'an abikari. He himself said, I am a jahil person. If he memorized the Quran, he's not a person. If he memorized the Quran, he's a jahil. If Muhammad himself said,